I, th I think the Icelandic banking situation uh, was, was one of the most difficult strands of the financial crisis. Uh, obviously, the UK government were trying to deal with it at a period when they had many other problems uh, confronting them. Um, the difficulty with that situation was that Icesave, which was a, a trade name of Landsbanki, uh, raised deposits in the UK on the basis of its EEA banking passport. And the result of that is that uh, those deposits should have been covered by the Icelandic uh, Deposit Protection Scheme. They were not within the UK's Deposit Protection Scheme. And Landsbanki had raised large amounts of money through the ICE-SAVE structure. Uh, but when it became insolvent, there were, there were not sufficient funds in the Icelandic Banking uh, Deposit Protection Scheme to cover UK depositors. Um, in order to avoid or mitigate the UK crisis, uh, the Treasury undertook that it would meet uh, the Icelandic deposits uh, and then sought to recover those funds from the Icelandic government. Um, that may seem to be a, a fair and reasonable thing to do, but the Icelandic government was not legally obliged to ensure that the deposit protection scheme was fully funded. It was merely required to establish the scheme and to ensure that banks contributed to it. Uh, that point was de decided by the uh, Court of the European Free Trade Association a couple of years back, uh, with the result that uh, Iceland was not legally liable under the treaties to reimburse uh, the UK or the Netherlands, which had also suffered loss. Uh, so at present, they're trying other means to recover their money.